<gasps> Golly. It's a good fish. Yeah, <laughs> that was quite a swirl. Yeah. Wow. Come on, fish with Latin in your have some fun. Can't some fly in Alaska on the wall you can or catch some trout and salmon in good old Washington. Fishing with Latin, casting with Latin, man, that's a lot of fun. We're hiking in to the Bitterroot River, main Bitterroot. It's a day in September. You can see it's just a beautiful sunny day. And uh, we're going to try with dry flies. We've heard there's a hatch of pretty good sized dry flies. So we're hoping the sun won't, won't keep them from coming up. So we're going to give it a shot. Let's see what happens. I like that water. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, there's a little bit of depth right in front of those stumps over there. What do you think? Yeah, hopefully there's enough current coming in. Yeah, yeah it looks like a good hiding spot. Uh, all right, uh, can you mind if I go out and give it no, a shot? No, give it a shot. Okay. I moved into position and made a cast. <gasps> Golly, it's a good fish. Yeah, <laughs> that was quite a swirl. Yeah. Wow. It's a big one, Steve. Yeah, it looked big. Whoa. Oh my goodness, look at that thing. It's pulling. Yeah. Getting a little closer. Hard fighter. Yeah. Oh boy. There she is. Oh, it's a beauty. Big rainbow. Wow. That's fantastic. in the net. It's just a huge, big, beautiful rainbow. Man, what a fish. Wow. That's a beauty. That's a nice long rainbow. Amazing fish. Yeah. That was really exciting. I was just kind of getting out this real shallow water, just kind of getting ready to cast to the prime area. And that thing just came up like a piranha. And it was a pretty amazing fight. Wow. This is a fly I used to catch that beautiful rainbow. It's a crippled version of the brindle shoot. Don't make me say that again, which is a big mayfly. And that rainbow came up and hammered it. It was a lot of fun. Steve took a turn at the excellent dry fly water, and he was intently watching his fly drift with the current. Oh, I saw one rise at the very end. Yeah, Ooh. that's a good fish. All right. Wow. It's a nice fish. I can see him come up. Pretty sure it's a cutthroat. Beauty. Steve quickly got his fly line on his reel. Boy, it's a beautiful fish. It might be a rainbow. I see it, just the length of it. It's yeah, huge. Yeah, it's a nice, it's a good fish. Yeah, it's a cut. It's wow. not as big as your bow, but boy, it's a nice trout. Take that any day. All right. Steve is gradually working the large cutthroat toward his net. Really nice cutthroat. Boy, 
Hope I don't regret missing that. Yeah. I want to horse him, but man, I want to get him in. Boy. Yeah, he's a feisty. Feisty trout. Nice. Um, gorgeous. <laughs> yes. Beautiful cutthroat trout. Ooh, look at that baby. Boy, what a nice fish. That is just so much fun. Seeing him come up to the dry fly. I'm not sure which one is better. Ladin's rainbow just exploded on it, you know. Just, that was awesome. But this, you could see the fish rise at it, you know, and had to wait till it took the fly. Both are just a lot of fun. This version of a fly, the body hangs below the water surface. So when you're using this, you just goop the top part. This part floats, the body's down under the water. Fish seem to like that. Oh, did you see that? That was a good fish. That's a big fish and he's porpoising out for something. Got him. Big fish, Steve. Nice. Good call. <laughs> It's so fun when they come up in this clear water. It's amazing. It's a big fish. I saw its top dorsal fin come up. Oh yeah, gorgeous. Can't really tell if it's a rainbow or a cut, but it's sure fighting like a rainbow. Jeez. Look at that, now he's just screaming out. Oh boy, that's a beautiful rainbow. Again. Oh boy, what <laughs> an amazing fish. Big ol' rainbow. Unbelievable dry fly fishing, you know. Typically on a sunny day like this, you don't expect it, but man, I'm telling you, they're coming up hard for these flies. It's pretty amazing. Just slowly swimming off, that's so cool. Ah, again, amazing dry fly fishing. You know, these are the days you kind of dream about. It's happening, it's just very exciting stuff. For this trip, we stayed in Hamilton, Montana. We received flies and advice from the Freestone Fly Shop. Back in the river, Steve was still working the dry fly water. Ooh, got him. Yeah. Rainbow. Nice. Looks like a decent sized fish. Yeah, it's a nice fish. Pretty cool take. Wow. Oh, darn it. Shoot. That was a big fish. Yeah, that was a good rainbow. Darn it. We were enjoying a warm September day on the Bitterroot. Steve is now fishing a deep hole with the foam line. The area we are fishing right now is a really good example of a foam line. Uh, there's just a very distinct foam line going through this hole on the outside edge. And a lot of times we look for those because those foam lines are where food funnels into certain areas and fish will oftentimes be in those foam lines. Oh boy, that's a big fish. Nice. Nice. That is a big fish. Gosh, I saw the side of him. That was pretty cool. Oh no. I don't know if there's logs right there. Or... Oh no. I think, I don't know if that's logs or. Yeah. Gosh, he is taking off. Can you tell what fly? Uh, it, uh, I think it was the big one, the brindle shoot. Jeez, I haven't even seen it so big. No, all I saw it was on the take. Top of its body looked about that thick. Wow. Oh, oh yeah. my It's a gosh. nice fish. That's a nice fish. No, I think it's on the mahogany. And it's a cut. Gosh, that's a nice trout.
Steve is gradually working the large cutthroat toward him. Wow. Yeah, I think it's the mahogany. I think he sucked it really good, too. Yeah. Oh, got him. Oh, man, what a what a fat body fish. That's awesome. Beautiful colors. That was cool. Yeah, he took the mahogany. This fly out. What a nice cutthroat, man. Look how thick that body is. Yeah, up there around 18, I think. That was fun. That was fun. Boy, this water looks so good. I bet you there's more fish in there, but interesting that a few drifts with just natural drift, nothing took, but I, I pulled that one just a little bit, gave it some movement, and that fish came out of the water after the fly. Really cool. This afternoon, we're using a double dry fly setup with a brindle shoot, size 10. It's a big mayfly imitation, trailed by a mahogany dun. That's what we're using. I've been seeing a fish rise over by this log out there. Of course, the only problem is it's a long ways away. It's very deep. The log has a lot of branches sticking out, so that's probably why it's over there. But I'm going to try it anyway. I don't know how smart it is. Kind of work my way out there. Oh, yeah. Got him. Nice. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Wow. That was a cool take, too. Yeah, it was. I didn't think I could get it in there. Wow, that was such a cool take. Right in that log. It's not the big kahuna, but that's a nice trout. Mm -hmm. I finally got my line on the reel in case it makes a run. It's always good to have it on there. And plus, it's out of your way a little bit. So it's always a good thing to do if you can. That was fun. <laughs> yeah. That's the rainbow, I think. Oh, no. Oh, no. It, no, it looks like a cut. Oh, I got him. Beautiful, beautiful cutthroat. Nice size cutthroat. Again, just right up against that log. I didn't think I'd get in there because of all the overhanging branches, but I finally got one at least close enough, caught that rising fish. There she goes. Pretty amazing. Again, it was just a real challenging cast. I was fortunate enough to get one close without getting hooked on the log with my flies, and uh, the reward was a beautiful, beautiful cutthroat. We've been here earlier and Steve hooked a really nice fish out of this area, but it just jetted right under the logs, the dry fly. So it's later here in the evening and the fish has stopped kind of hitting dries. So I am using a nymph setup and see if I can entice that big guy out. Oh my. Big fish. Come on, please. Oh, holy smoke. Don't go, ah, keep him out of the sticks. Come on out slowly. Oh good, I got him out into open water at least. Big fish on the nymph. Big huge rainbow. <laughs> Big huge Ooh, rainbow from under yeah. that log. Amazing. That was so cool. All right. Big beautiful rainbow. I'm gonna let him rest a while because it was a heck of a fight. Just uh, came right from under that log. That was amazing. I mean, it was just a beautiful rainbow. And you can see this log structure over here. I cast out the nymph and just went right into those sticks. And that thing darted out and grabbed it and then did everything possible to get back into that log jam. Oh, but I managed to get it out of there. 
outstanding fish.